you're gonna go into the recording studio, it's important that you have a plan. You can't just go into a studio and say, I wanna record this song, have them hit record and play. You need a plan, you need to be rehearsed, you need to know who's gonna do what when, and that's where your producer comes in. That's where it's so important to pick the right producer. Now, how do you know it's the right producer? Is it the guy who has the biggest uh, resume of credentials of I've produced this one, I made this and that and the other thing? Or is it the guy who understands what you're trying to accomplish and knows how to get your best performance? In my mind, that's the guy that you go with. And what do we do? We have pre-production. You want to be prepared before you go in because once you go into a recording studio, you're on the clock. And whether it's your dime or somebody else's, what you do with that time is running up somebody's meter. So you better know what you're doing. Uh, you, you hear uh, these guys that get million dollar budgets and they spend months in the studios going over and over and they do so many takes and so many takes. And then you hear about a band like the Foo Fighters where they do all of their production, they get everything, they put it in a garage, they go for that dirt road feel and they get a true honest recording that when you hear it coming out of your playback, whether it's your speakers in your car, your iPhone or whatever, you get the feeling, you understand the intention of what was done there. And in that case, their producer was familiar with who they were, what they wanted to accomplish, and he was in tune with them. You don't want to argue with your producer. You want to put all of your talents together to make a greater good and have the best recording that you can possibly get and get your vision down on, on tape, on a drive, on whatever it is, so that when people hear it, they feel it. They know that you got what you were going for.